Hi, I'm Paul with InsectsForSale.com and I'm going to talk to you today about how to build an ambient temperature relaxing chamber. A lot of times, as an insect collector, I run into situations where I can't really mount uh, or spread out my insects the way I need to right off the bat and they become dry and difficult to handle and difficult to spread uh, and brittle. So in cases like that, I'll need a relaxing chamber. Also, a lot of times I'll order insects from somewhere else and when you order insects, <clears throat> like if you order them from insectsforsale.com, um, they're going to come unmounted and dried. So sometimes they'll need to be rehydrated. And one way to do that is the insect uh, relaxing chamber. Now what you're going to need is a Tupperware container or a plastic container of some kind like this and it needs to have an airtight lid. The other thing you're going to need is a piece of hardware cloth. Now hardware cloth is just a kind of a it's a mesh is all it is. It's a, a uh, type of metal screening <clears throat> that's uh, easy to bend. So you'll be able to bend this into the shape you need and what we need to do is to bend it so that the hardware cloth creates a space underneath it uh, where you're going to place a sponge, which is of course the next thing you need is a sponge. Now take the sponge, place it inside of your Tupperware container, and then you take your hardware cloth and you place it on top of the, sp the sponge, like this. Now you're going to need to take some moth crystals. And what the moth crystals do is they're going to keep um, mold and mildew from forming in there while you're uh, leaving all that moisture in there. Some places I've read some people use moth balls, but I suspect moth crystals will work better at keeping the, the mold and mildew out. So that's what I use is the moth crystals. Then I take a paper towel and I place it on top of the mesh. And then Forceps, uh, these are spade tip forceps that I got from insectsforsale.com. You take your forceps and it's time to put your specimen in. Now since today is St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to use the Madagascar Sunset Moth because uh, it's got some green in it. Now I'll place it on top of the um, paper towel and then I take another paper towel and place it on top of that. Now, of course my sponge is wet, uh, but I wet it before I started this video, so I don't need to wet it again, but you'll need to wet your sponge when you put it in there, and here's the water that I use to wet the, the sponge. You place the lid on top, make sure it seals, and there you have it. You wait four or five days until your insect is relaxed enough to be able to spread it out in the position that you want. And that's it. That's how you make an insect relaxing chamber. 